AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, was first recognized as a new disease in the United States in 1981. The first cases were reported in the medical literature as a rare lung infection known as pneumocystis carini pneumonia in young, otherwise healthy gay men in Los Angeles. This was unusual because this particular type of pneumonia, later renamed pneumocystis juravici pneumonia, was known to only occur in individuals with severely compromised immune systems. In the same year, additional cases of a rare skin cancer called Kaposi's sarcoma were discovered in young gay men in New York and California, further highlighting the emergence of this new syndrome. The term, AIDS, was first proposed in 1982 to describe the observed collection of symptoms and illnesses. The virus responsible for AIDS, initially termed lymphadenopathy-associated virus, LAV, or human T-cell lymphotropic virus type 3, HTLV3, was discovered in 1983. It was later renamed human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, as it became clear that it was the causative agent of AIDS. The transmission of AIDS, which is caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, occurs through specific routes involving the exchange of certain body fluids. The primary routes of HIV transmission include this is the most common route. HIV can be transmitted through unprotected sexual activities, including vaginal, anal, and oral sex. The virus can enter the body through mucous membranes or small tears that can occur in the genital or rectal areas during sexual activity. HIV can be spread through contact with infected blood. This primarily occurs through sharing needles, syringes, or other injection equipment among drug users. It can also happen, albeit very rarely, through transfusions of infected blood or blood products, or the transplantation of organs from infected donors. However, in many countries, strict screening processes for blood and organ donations have greatly reduced these risks. An HIV-positive mother can pass the virus to her child during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. However, with appropriate treatment during pregnancy and childbirth, and avoiding breastfeeding, the risk of mother-to-child transmission can be significantly reduced. This is a potential risk mainly for healthcare workers. It involves the transmission of HIV through needle sticks or cuts from other sharp instruments that are contaminated with HIV-infected blood. It's important to note that HIV is not transmitted through casual contact like shaking hands, hugging, or sharing utensils, nor through air, water, insect bites, or saliva. Understanding these transmission routes is crucial for prevention and awareness efforts. AIDS, the advanced stage of HIV infection, presents a range of severe symptoms due to the significant weakening of the immune system. Individuals with AIDS may experience rapid and unexplained weight loss, often referred to as, wasting, which is a hallmark of advanced HIV infection. Recurrent fevers and profuse night sweats are common as the body struggles to fight off infections. Extreme and unexplained tiredness that cannot be attributed to exertion or other medical conditions is often reported. This is coupled with prolonged swelling of the lymph glands, particularly in the armpits, groin, or neck, lasting for more than a few weeks. Persistent diarrhea, lasting for over a week, is another symptom, reflecting the gastrointestinal impact of the virus. AIDS can also manifest as sores or lesions in the mouth, anus, or genital areas, exacerbated by a weakened immune system. One of the more serious complications is the increased susceptibility to infections like pneumonia, which occur recurrently or last longer than usual. Neurological disorders are also a concern, with symptoms such as memory loss, confusion, and changes in behavior, indicating the virus's impact on the nervous system. Skin changes are another visible sign, with red, brown, pink, or purplish blotches appearing on or under the skin or inside the mouth, nose, or eyelids. Lastly, opportunistic infections, which are infections that exploit the weakened immune system, become more prevalent. These can include conditions like tuberculosis, specific types of pneumonia, fungal infections, and other viral and bacterial infections. Treatment for AIDS caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, involves a comprehensive approach centered around antiretroviral therapy, ART. This therapy doesn't cure HIV but controls the virus, significantly improving the life expectancy and quality of life for those infected. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, 
is the mainstay of HIV treatment. It requires taking a combination of HIV medicines daily. Art works by reducing the viral load in the body, ideally to an undetectable level, which not only helps in strengthening the immune system but also prevents the transmission of the virus to others. Alongside art, the treatment also involves the prevention and management of opportunistic infections. These infections are more common and can be more severe in people with weakened immune systems. This aspect of treatment may include both medications to prevent prophylaxis and treat infections like pneumonia, tuberculosis, and certain types of hepatitis. Regular monitoring is crucial in the management of HIV, AIDS. This includes frequent blood tests to track the viral load and monitor the immune system's health, specifically through the CD4 cell count. These tests help evaluate the effectiveness of the ART regimen. Lifestyle changes play a supportive role in the treatment of HIV, AIDS. Adopting a healthy diet, engaging in regular exercise, avoiding tobacco, minimizing alcohol consumption, and managing stress can all contribute to better health outcomes. Mental health support is also a key component of comprehensive care for individuals living with HIV, AIDS. Addressing mental health issues like depression and anxiety is vital for improving overall well-being and treatment adherence. For some patients, additional medications may be necessary to address HIV-related conditions or side effects associated with ART. Furthermore, treatment for county infections, such as hepatitis B or C, which can occur alongside HIV, is often part of the care plan. Starting ART as soon as possible after diagnosis is essential. Effective treatment allows people with HIV to live long and healthy lives, with adherence to the treatment regimen and regular medical care being crucial for its success.